let's get to cleaning. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be doing something today that I've been putting off, but it desperately, desperately needs to be done. So I'm going to be cleaning and organizing and decluttering my kitchen drawers. Um, it's just, for those of you that don't know, I just moved into this house um, in the beginning of December and I was really overwhelmed with moving um, that I just, um, also a little backstory. This, what, this is my mom's house and she passed away a year ago. And so um, she, all of her silverware and stuff is still here, Her everything she used um, in the kitchen. So I never cleaned out those drawers. I never went through them and decluttered. And I just put, I was just so overwhelmed at the moment that I put my silverware on top of hers and I just shoved it in the drawer. And that was the, one of the last things I wanted to think about. But honestly, it's really disgusting, it's really gross, and it needs to be cleaned out. So I hope you're here with me to do it. I hope it gives you some motivation to clean out your drawers. And it's going to look gross, but I'm, I'm just trying to explain why it got that way. And I want to let y'all know that this is a collab with my beautiful, wonderful friend, Jessica. Her channel is Miss Jessie, Mrs. Jessie, I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, Y'all, I love her. We are really, we've become really close friends. We have done one other challenge video, what challenge? Uh, collab video before where we did squats, but we're not working out this time. We are, we are organizing our kitchen. Um, she has a beautiful kitchen. She has just gotten remodeled. I'm, it's, it's so beautiful, y'all. Y'all got to check it out. Um, like I said, her and I have become really close friends, and we're actually from the same hometown. I won't say what it is. If you know, then you know. But we're from the same hometown, and yeah, we've just become really close friends, and we text each other, and I'm really excited to do this video with her. She is just a sweetheart. So sweet to me. Just so, so pure. Just so sweet. And she does amazing organizing, um, decluttering, and cleaning videos. So definitely check her out after you watch my video and subscribe to her and tell her that I sent you, okay? So yes, this is a collab with her. And let me go ahead and get into so it. I'm going to add a little clip of uh, Jessica's video of her speaking so you can get to know her a little better before I start my video. Hey loves, my name is Jessica. My channel is Mrs. Jezzy. I am a stay-at-home mom of four from Texas. And on my channel, you will find a lot of cleaning, decluttering, organizing. If that's something that you're interested in, I'd love for you to come over after you're done watching my beautiful friend Tiffany's video and check out my video as well. And if it's something that you are interested in seeing more of, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. I'd love to have you in my family. Again, thank you so much for watching Tiffany's video. She's such a beautiful person inside and out. I love her so much. I am so glad that I got to meet her and I am looking forward to the future that her and I have together here on YouTube. Again, once you're done watching her video, I would love for you to come by and watch mine. Thank you so much for allowing me to introduce myself. Now back to Tiffany's video. Bye. So I am not alone. I do have a helper. This is Roxy. Hey, Roxy. And she could really care less. Are you okay? Your eye looks kind of weird. That's something weird on her eye. I hope you're okay. Might need, do I need to take you to the vet? Do y'all see that there's like a bump right here? I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, so let's let me show you what we're dealing with. So these are the drawers that I'm going to be going through and decluttering. Um, yes. Okay, so this one's really bad. Okay, so this is what this looks like: the silverware drawer. Um, it's honestly just gross. It's filthy. Um, I I brought this over from my apartment. This little container, and there is utensils that we need to put away. There's cheese. And yes, there are Cheetos here. And um, Let me explain why there's Cheetos here. They've just been here a couple of days. I was carrying a bag of Cheetos like this and I was on the phone and it tipped over and some Cheetos fell in there. So that's really gross. I think I'm gonna be trying to use my vacuum cleaner to get all that out. 
The next drawer is filled with like an apron and pot holders and just miscellaneous stuff. So definitely that needs to be organized and decluttered. And then down here is like, I really don't even touch down here. It's like old can openers and a toaster. It's really gross. And then this one, this one's actually not that bad compared to all the others. These are a few like hand towels, um, a lighter for my candles, and that's about it. Oh, excuse me, baby. And then here we've got more silverware, okay? So very much, and here we have even more silverware and utensils. So this is what I'm working with and let's get to it. Here is the aftermath of Roxy's checking everything out. Um, here is the aftermath. I've taken everything out um, of the drawers. So you can see I got a lot of stuff. Most of this stuff was my mom's. Um, just need to organize it, you know? And kind of go through and see like what I don't need. If something's really worn out or something, I'm gonna throw it away. So that's why I brought a trash can in here. Um, Apparently we like not we had a lot of knives. <laughs> There's more knives than forks or spoons. Spoons is the smallest amount of stuff we have. But if you have a steak or needed something to cut, well, we're good on that. Um, See, so yeah, I'm just gonna go and throw away and declutter. I even found some scissors. I found these lot for corn on the cob. That's so cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna declutter this. stuff um yeah there's just so much and so i thought since there's like crumbs and gross stuff in these drawers um i actually saw one of my friends here on youtube using a vacuum cleaner once and i just got bought a portable uh vacuum cleaner from walmart um the other day this is it it is called it is the black and decker dust buster and it has three times the suction power. This was like $50. So let's see how well this picks up the crap in the drawers. And then after I vacuum it out, I'll, I'll rub it down or clean it with some cleaning wipes.
Okay, I think that this uh, little vacuum cleaner did pretty good. You can see right here, it got some stuff out. And Roxy was very curious, weren't she, Roxy? All that nasty stuff was in those drawers. Ew. As you can tell, these drawers are just disgusting. It's got like a lot of sticky stuff. Um, everything's out. They're old. I mean, this is an old house. The kitchen is getting remodeled, um, but in a, it'll be in about three or four months. Um, but what I'm gonna do, we did, that vacuum cleaner did look pretty good. I am going to pour some of this Homeline multi-service cleaner in there and let it sit, and then I'm gonna go and scrub it. I just got done I just got done deep cleaning and scrubbing the inside of the drawers um, so I'm gonna take a break now and eat pizza and watch what is it called young and the restless yeah I'm gonna watch young and the restless and um, chill and then later I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree and get like maybe a few organizer things and I'll show y'all the rest tomorrow you can see the jewelry still out the jewelry tiffany the silverware is still out so this really turned out to be a bigger job than i was initially thinking but i am glad i'm doing it because it really need to needed to be done but i'll catch up with y'all tomorrow and show you kind of what stuff i got from dollar tree and then how it all turned out good morning everybody um different day same sweater it's really cold here you guys it's gonna get even colder this weekend so and I'm apologize for the lighting I could turn on a better light let me turn on a better light so I went to Dollar Tree to pick up I was looking kind of like for organization stuff which I really didn't find that many but that's okay I don't really need to spend that much money anyway because you know the Dollar Tree um, but I'll show you my little Dollar Tree haul and then I'll show you and then I'll just show you the end results of everything that's gone on. So, I picked up these scrub buddies at Dollar Tree. Love these things to wash dishes. Um, I picked up some new pot holders, and I think they're I love them because they're really pretty. They got the little coffee cups on them, and like because uh, a lot of the pot holders and oven mitts we had are really worn out. So I just thought I needed a new couple of new ones. Once again, with like coffee mugs and stuff, this one's really pretty. And then this oven mitt says, kitchen is the heart of the home. So very nice. And then I got the, this these little baskets and it comes two pack for a dollar. So I thought that was good. And let's see. I also got some placemats because even though you, do, you did see me yesterday vacuuming, and, I, and then after I vacuumed, I, I deep scrubbed these um, drawers. But um, it's still just a, like I wanted the placemats like as a liner. And I'm not good with the actual liner. I, I don't like the liner. So I'm using pretty much a placemat as liner. So I picked up like five placemats. And I'll show you. It's just a basic placemat. And yeah, just have that underneath for protection. In case we spill stuff and I actually had to throw out a lot of silverware you saw me kind of um, maybe on the time-lapse yesterday throwing out some silverware and I hated to do that that was the first time I've ever thrown out silverware and it just felt so weird to me because I don't know I thought about selling some in a yard sale um, because I'm gonna have some yard sales coming up um, 
only silverware that I'm really going to try to sell in the in a yard sale are these right here because I don't know I just feel like these are kind of pretty I don't know I think like somebody would want those but I threw away a lot of silverware and even the silverware that I've kept that you'll see that I've kept my husband was said we're not keeping this for very long because in like three or four months this kitchen will get remodeled and then we're getting all brand new silverware so you know all of this is just temporary but it definitely needed to be cleaned out um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and fix this in the drawers and then i'll catch it back up with y'all okay guys here's all like my bigger utensils and stuff and i'm gonna put it here in this middle drawer um so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it here i'm gonna go through this is stuff i use a lot I'm sorry if you hear my dog Millie barking. Millie! Millie! Uh, this is my rice cooker spoon. Um, this is really old. This was my mom's, but I'll still use it. Um, I don't know if I need two wisp. I'll just keep it for now. Whatever. Okay. And some, I'm weird. Like, I have strange thoughts when I was like going through this, uh, all this, um, stuff, I was like, man, if I wanted to murder somebody, I have, like, some weapons here. <laughs> Crazy thoughts. Uh, ice cream scooper. See, what, I don't need two ice cream scoopers, so, which one should I keep? This one looks like a better one, so I'll keep this one declutter which wisp I won't have that one uh, I don't know what this is for uh, maybe I'll need it it's like a potato peeler it needs to be washed keep this definitely need my pizza cutter we eat a lot of frozen pizzas um, spatula I'm just going to have two spatulas in case one is dirty. Um, I love these like Betty Crocker stuff for like icing. So I'll keep definitely keep that. I like this wooden spoon. A friend gave me this. And this spoon can really reach like high temperatures. So I'll keep that. Uh, it's for like turkeys and stuff. Okay. This is like a really big knife. Okay. So I'm going to keep that. I'll go ahead and show you right here. So, I really downsized my silverware, y'all. If y'all remember how much silverware I did have. Um, so, forks, spoons, butter knives. I mean, who even needs this much butter knives? And then I got a few sharper knives for steak. And that's pretty much it in this drawer. And you just saw me put the bigger utensils I may need for cooking. Okay. Oh, now this drawer, <laughs> okay, I need to fix that. I already started, this isn't supposed to be there. I was just in a hurry last night and put the laundry in there. But I'm going to make all, put this on my kitchen tails here. In this drawer, all I have is scissors. I found some scissors yesterday. I don't know. My husband said I should put on there. I don't know if, if that's right. <laughs> and then right here, I just put, since it's right by the sink, I know I've got a dish full, sink full of dishes. Um, I'm just keeping my scrubbers here and then in this drawer I just had these two containers and just keeping like some miscellaneous little stuff here okay guys this bottom drawer I have an apron here which I hardly ever wear aprons but just in case I have one right there I have my oven mitts and pot holders here so I'll just put this on top of the apron because like I said, I don't wear an apron too often. And now here you'll see kitchen towels. Um, I separate, I went through all of them. These are just all newly washed, but these have like, they're worn out and they have like a lot of stains on them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the laundry room and use these as cleaning rags. So these will be my new cleaning rags and these are all my kitchen towels. As you can tell, I like owls because a lot of my kitchen towels are owls. And um, most of these kitchen towels are from Walmart. 
But I got a lot, a lot of room to spare in here. Okay, guys, it's a really nasty trash can, but that is a lot of silverware and stuff I threw away. Just like old rusted silverware. I know that trash can's nasty. I just found this old rolling pin, too. Um, I don't bake very much, but maybe I'll sell it in a yard sale. Who knows? So, and then I also, if y'all remember, I had an extra, I clean, I washed, I have an extra silverware tray. I think I'll just try to sell this in a yard sale too because I don't need to. So, that is it, y'all. That is the end of my video. Thank you so much for being here and helping me, um, being with me as I clean out and declutter my kitchen drawers. As you could tell, it really, really needed to be done. I do recommend a portable vacuum cleaner because it makes things a lot easier. Plus, it's fun. My dog, Roxy, loved it. And, um, yeah, I hope this gave you motivation, what you needed. And now, my hair's wet. I took a bath this morning, but I wanted still to be in warm, cozy clothes. So, that's why I'm in this sweater again. But, me, my husband actually has to work on Sunday, which is going to be Valentine's Day. He has to work all day. So, we're actually, he's off today. So, we're going to go have a romantic lunch somewhere. I get to choose where. I guess I'm choosing a steakhouse. Um, but, yeah, I got to go get ready for that. Do a little makeup and... I don't have to, but I want to. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Jessica, so much for collabing with me. This was awesome. I hope we can collab again really soon, girl. Love you, girl. And y'all make sure to go subscribe to her. I cannot say that word for the life of me. Thank you. Bye, guys.